And we're back to learning HTML and this time I'm going to show you the address tag. You usually find that inside of a footer. As the name suggests, it gives the user a chance to see contact information, maybe a location, something like this. You get line breaks after it and also before it. So we don't have to create a new paragraph here, we'll just edit with an opening and closing tag. And inside we want to nest the contact information. So for example, you've got the country, street, maybe an email, something like this. You'll also get by default an italic style. So if I just save this and refresh the page, you'll see that all of the information inside of the address elements, so the opening and the closing tag is now in italic, but inside you don't have line breaks. So if you want to have them, you'll have to add the BR tag specifically for each line. So just like this. And this is what usually the address looks like on a website and a footer. Sometimes you also have a URL that's added inside of the address. Let me just give you an example and you can see that you can also nest links inside of it. For example, for my website. Let me add an href. I'll just invent something. And I've got a typo right here, let me correct that. But here you can see now my and then website is a link and it's all nested inside of the address. If you add something afterwards, you'll get a line break as well, as I've mentioned before. But if you really want to separate the address from the following elements, if you've got following elements, just add another BR tag and you're good here. The address doesn't have any specific attributes. But you can, as always, use the global ones. And this is all there is to know about the address tag in HTML. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.